Poetry by Daphne Iekinthu The Path to Eternal Love The cosmic vastness of abyss, eternally in labor, is giving birth with great pain to darkness, deep, infernal. Yet the nymphs with angels of pure light embracing life with fervor in brilliant brightness of delight offer us life eternal. The fountain of eternity with crystal water flowing brings clarity into our hearts so full of good intentions. In time and space of the godly soil the seed is slowly growing with given care and loving warmth throughout our dimensions. The inner storm in heart and mind seems harsh and overbearing. The lonely night as dusk is near seeks comfort in his prayers. His wisdom and enlightenment as mighty sword he's carrying, yet loneliness and solitude weighs much for heaven's heirs. The dragons breathing in our minds uncertainties infection, the stormy sky of our thoughts, the mist of our emotion, transforms the beauty of our love into a vague reflection, a breath of this abysmal wind is breaking our devotion. Our mission is a pilgrimage in truth's most sacred temple. We serve a holy purity, a power ruling forces, offering brilliant sanctity through touch so sweet and gentle. Amidst the wisdom waterfalls and love's abundant sources, the path is deeper still in us than what we had predicted. The quenching essence of all things is sweet and magnetizing. Of heaven's Adam was deprived, from innocence evicted, but still the sirens guiding him are tender, mesmerizing. Their songs against the angels' choirs in limbo drag the faithless, but cherubs weave their melody in glorious godly favor. The shadows harsh with cruelty, invisible and faceless, in wrath and evil wickedness the blood of infants savor. Yet time is nigh to be revealed the deeper hidden substance of things so ancient yet still new, the emptiness of idols, the lack of merit of the force so filled with painful absence of anything benevolent and pure the being unbridled. The darkness is unbearable, and the opposing spirit, without shame from hearts of men, just rips the joyous laughter. The learned and the worldly sage this moment dread and fear it, but yet it always comes to us revealing the hereafter. Is truly death to be revered as powerful a monster that swallows life and earthly warmth from tender flesh so youthful? Or is our earthly life a dream so strange we think we master that offers pleasure in exchange for godly love so fruitful? Let's lift ourselves from barren clay and fill our chest with freedom to ride on a winged horse, fly far beyond the senses, allow our being to be quenched with nectar from the kingdom, transcend all barriers of the flesh the hindrance of the fences, to be engulfed by love's great sea, unlimited eternal, and find the tenderness we've craved in father's love paternal.